thousands of local families started the new year without a loved one. Their relatives killed in homicides last year. Those families and the community want to know how many of those cases have been solved or are closed. News Channel 15's Lamar Holiday sat down with Allen County Prosecutor Karen Richards and joins us with more. Lamar? Mark and Heather Richards says she and the Fort Wayne Police Department have been working hard to solve these crimes. She tells me out of the 44 homicides, nearly half have been solved or closed. Many Fort Wayne neighborhoods were painted with crime scene tape last year. That left police with the art of investigating who was behind the trigger. Dozens of lives were lost. Once investigators painted the picture of who, what, when, why, and how, Karen Richards then goes after the who in the investigation, but trying to find and convict that person isn't always easy. In a lot of these, we don't have cases yet because there is no suspect. Richard says that's due to no witnesses or not having witnesses come forward. But in some cases where witnesses have testified, there have been convictions. Out of last year's homicides, we've already uh, tried five of those cases and gotten convictions in five of them and we have another one of them set for trial. If you're thinking that six out of 44 convictions isn't that good, Richards says you have to look at the total picture. She says nearly half of these cases have either been solved or closed. There are four that the police department have cleared because the suspect that they've identified has been involved in another homicide. Um, there are several that have been cleared by our office because they were either um, Police involved shootings and there were a few uh, cases of civilians also acting in self-defense. Richards says police are still investigating other cases to find a suspect. New at 6, I talked with her about why it's hard to get witnesses to testify in a homicide trial. Lamar Holiday, News Channel 15.